Moving like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground Hello girls, guys and gamers, my name is Nikoli and welcome back to Broken Sword the Smoking Mirror. Last episode, Paul stole Ronaldo, Nico stole M. Bison and we're left to figure out what is going on with the pipe Piper over here. I still have no idea what, I don't know what Dwayne's going on with, I don't know what this guy's going on with, it's a cluster headache of god knows what. So it's been annoying me like all night, I have I played pretty much Saturdays and Saturdays, Sundays and Sundays. So, I've had like a whole night to think about it and it's still, it's confusing me. So I should just talk to Miguel then. I'm George Stobart. You're Miguel the musician, aren't you? Ex-musician, senor. My career is finished. Ah, going to jail could be the boost your career needed, <laughs> senor. True, true. I would rather die than live with this shame. Alright, um... Who is this again? I can't remember. Have you heard of a guy called Oh yeah, that could... Yes. The old man spoke of him. The foreigner? Professor Ubie? That's right. This man Karzak is Ubie's boss. Ah, so Ubie was lying to us. There was hints all over the place, but at least we know what's going on. Why is that noose hanging from the bars? Ronaldo strung it up for me to hang myself. Whoa. Don't cry for me, Senor Stubbard. When I am dead, the goddess will take my soul to rest in paradise. I thought Ronaldo was like a really nice dude. Um, are we going to get... Well, I suppose we have the information of what's going on. So we go back to... I don't understand what's going on. Uh, we go back to the mining crew, I think. Tell the woman... Roughly, they're going towards her mine, get the detonator, blow up the wall, he escapes, and then, I don't know, hopefully that works, if not, I have no idea what's going on. Um, George, go that way. Alright, talking goat, we've had our time together. That stupid spitting woman, how dare you. Alright. You. What's her name again? Oh. I had nothing else to talk about. No, George. There's. There's loads to talk about. Seriously. Hey. She looks a lot nicer here than there. I have to say that she looks a lot nicer and friendly here. Stay out of that cupboard. Here she looks like kind of almost similar to just grab it. That one I seen like a crazy lady who's been on pretty much cigarettes and alcohol for a bit too much of her life so not to judge anyone not to judge her but she looks a lot more friendly here just saying that all right let's have a good old butchers we need to figure out what the hell's got maybe these guys know George I had nothing else no to George, George, George okay um Dwayne Hell's gone, Dwayne's gone, Nico's gone, M. Bison's gone, Miguel's not talking to us. We, we really need to figure out what the hell's going on. Here. I had a, a good plan, didn't work, so Dwayne, you're, you're like my little shining star at the moment. Just shine a little bit of light on me and tell what to do. I had nothing no! else to ask him. Damn you, George. Maybe, do we just break him out? Is it that simple? Do I just need to poison dart? Is there any information in the actual foyer here? Not really foyer, just the office I suppose. With information they need to steal. Like, um, say here. I had no need. No. The safe was undoubtedly locked. A safe was tucked under the desk. Alright. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by... Um, 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 um. The filing cabinet was... Alright George, come over we need to figure out something. Something we can do. Alright. That's the 80s thingy, can't get there. I suppose we we'll just go back to Miguel. Hopefully we can sort this out. Her. I love this game and I hate this game at the same time. Um I couldn't reach the news. 
I couldn't reach. Is there anything that you can reach, George? And like, right, go in here. In here. I couldn't. Okay, that's important. What's he doing? What's he doing? There was nothing I wanted. To what else am I missing? Um, maybe he's hungry. He wouldn't be interested. Um, I really am stuck here. Right, George. All right. Someone had thoughtfully provided little shades for the light bulbs. The rest of the prison area looked like an English public toilet. How dare you! How dare it was you! A length of rope, knotted in a hangman's noose. I couldn't read. Um, 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 nothing in here. Uh, I really am stumped. I don't use the question mark. It's, it's only if I get really, really, really stuck. I really don't want to use it. Um, we know... Which way is that? That way. There is... A... We, we can access, um, we, we can kind of access the prison from the side here. So this one's Miguel, this one here is the one to... It was one of the windows of the jail. Anything above it? No. There was a forlorn looking guy asleep on the floor of the jail. It was Miguel, the pipe player. Cool, we, we, we know this George, we know this. Um, we can't do anything. I, I really don't know what to do. I'm so stuck here. Um, Alright, journal, yada yada yada. Okay, we've turned it. Nothing new has been added to this. I'm really tempted to press the question mark. I really am. Oh! Bloody pressing the wrong thing. Um, um, that guy's scared of us because we've got a statue. Um, maybe nope. Can't touch these. Can't touch these. Is there anything down here we haven't really. Oh, attacking the mic. I don't think you speak English, if I remember rightly. This guy. We haven't spoken to him in ages. Do you recognize this? Por Dios, put it away. You. Okay. Okay. I'm all right, Mr. Man, can you like save me here? I'm like super stuck. That guy just didn't look like him. Right. Cheers, George, for like pretty much running, like raining on my parade here. I was hoping to do something, but nope. Inside the hut was a chair. And All right, God, we can't escape either. We can't leave. Nuestra Señora is la Presidenta, right? Si, sí, Señor. The First Lady of Caramonte. I guess that's her picture I've seen on the posters, huh? That's her. Quite a looker, no? Yeah, if you like big, middle-aged military women. Si, sí, Señor. <laughs> I do. Fair play, mate. Um, so, what has La Presidenta done for this country? Apart from emasculating its music. Take a look around you, Señor. The splendid docks, the walk-in shopping mall, but most of all, she has brought prosperity. Where? For the first time in the history of Caramonte, we have an export trade. George, you kind of like shut down this whole area, like saying, where is the prosperity? So straight away, it's kind of... Like she opened up the export Caramonte, trade. defacing a poster was probably a capital offense. What are we missing? Balls to it. Do I need a detonator? How can I get one? Cool. Hit number one. I've done that. I've done that. Son. I hate this game so much sometimes. You've seen me. Unless it's just this. I need to check this more often then. Whenever I save it, I presume it saves where I saved in the progress. I think it might check back a bit.
Okay. We've already done this, guys. So I'm just going to skip through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George, I, I, I know George. We've done this. About sixty. I, I, I know George. That area down there is where the mining people mine. So let's get out all down there and sort this stuff out. Because I've walked around. The problem is, I said this. I said this whole process. I roughly knew what was going to happen. We know it is. It's a link towards the mining company. She's going to go yada yada yada. Here's a detonator. Blow up the world. Sorted. But no, it wouldn't let me do this. So kind of annoyed. Uh, I really am a bit frustrated about that. But hey ho, it's just something I need to look into when we do our next episode. Alright, love. The chart. Got a good look at that chart in the police station. It's a map of Cuaramonte. Does it tell us where Ubier is heading? Yeah, a place called Teoculcan. That's the site of the mine. I know. I wonder why they're being so secretive about Ubier's plans. One thing's for sure. If the general's involved, they're up to no good. I'd like to talk to that musician Miguel. Take the detonator and get him out of that jail. <laughs> it's a bit extreme. It's really, really, really extreme. Take this detonator towards explosives and get this guy out of prison. Okay, okay. I will try my best. It's kind of a really, really messy way of doing it. What if, like, the guy gets caught in the blast radius? She didn't really think about that. Alright, Dwayne. I have a detonator. I'm not even sure if he has explosives. Gordon Pearl, he's just absolutely mental. But, you never know. He may actually have his stuff. I'm not sure if I'm more pro against that. Right, Dwayne. We have the goods. Here is the detonator, Dwayne. Keep your voice down, George. You'd best go and warn Miguel that the U.S. cavalry Miguel. is on the way. Okay. Um, 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 um. Hi, right, George. Hurry. Um, can we do it for me? There was a forlorn. It was Miguel. Cool. So we can't just call through the window and skedaddle. No, <laughs> go inside then run away. So we haven't actually uncovered much of this in this episode. So far, all we know really is that Miguel has given up being a musician. And that's about it. So not as much as I hope to uncover. Right, Miguel. Hey, Miguel. What is it? What is happening? We're getting out of here. Who's we? They've sent the Delta Force. Nope. The Impossible Missions Force. Don't make me sick. Much better. Who then? A retired greetings card salesman <laughs> from Ohio. I'm doomed. You're Whoa. not the only one. I should have known you'd be trouble the moment I saw you. Look, I can explain everything. Get in that cell. Now. And what if I refuse? He'll shoot you. Okay, here I am. Going quietly into the cell. Very wise, North Americano scum. One of the reasons I hate guns so much is the way they make people so damned impolite. I hope you're enjoying your vacation, Senor Stobart. Ah, go polish your weapon, Ronaldo. Technically, innuendo as well. So. <laughs> this was part of your plan, right? Well, in a manner of speaking. No. I was all out of ideas. It was up to Nico now. So, here we are. You've changed. I thought I would slip into something more comfortable. The stench of cheap cologne rolled over me like tear gas. So, what do you want to know about me? Ask and I will answer. I will deny you nothing. He's no longer M. Bison. I am a very giving person. <laughs> How nice for your friends. 
Your eyes are glittering like stars. This damn cologne was making my eyes water. <laughs> I was running out of sofa. As spirited as you are beautiful, I admire that. As long as he admired it from afar. Okay, so we're going to leave it there today, guys. We are in prison. Technically in both places. <laughs> Nico's in this room, this apartment of his kind of creepy M. Bison wannabe dude. He's not really one of M. Yeah, he is. And um, George Dobart, he's in prison for real. So, swings and roundabout, I suppose. But I'm going to thank you guys for watching this as per usual. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.